How's it going? It's a Daily Shooter and I'm back out here in the Mojave Desert to test out some more armor from Defender Armor. Now some of you might remember that uh, not too long ago I did a review of the Defender Armor Level 3 Plus. I took the plate out here, I shot it a bunch, and it was absolutely amazing. I mean it completely blew me away. But there was a lot of people out there who were a little bit upset because it didn't stop green tip. Well I tried to explain in the video that when it comes to um, non-metal or non-metallic body armor, green tip is one of those rounds that is difficult to stop. However, conversely, on a metal body armor or steel body armor like AR-500 armor and those things, standard 55 grain ball rounds are the rounds that will most likely penetrate that armor, whereas green tip won't actually do as much. So it, there's kind of a give and take between the two. Now when it comes to steel armor, I think you know getting shot by a standard 55 grain ball is probably more common than getting shot by a, a green tip. So that's something to consider as well. Well, now I have something that is even better, okay? Defender Armor contacted me. They sent me out this plate to shoot for you guys. And what we have here is a level three plus plus plate that will not only stop standard 55 grain full metal jackets, but it'll also stop green tip. And it is ridiculously light. So what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna shoot this with several different types of rounds. We're gonna shoot it with 308, three different types of 308. We're gonna shoot it with three different types of 5.56, five, we got some 77 grain, we got some green tip and standard 55 grain full metal jacket. And we're gonna see how this stuff actually holds up. Uh, my hopes are, are very, very high. <laughs> I, I think, you know, Defender Armor makes some great stuff. Unlike the other one, which is um, kind of a woven composite material, you know, kind of like a, a Kevlar type material. This one right here is a ceramic plate. So they are different types of plates to stop different types of threats. Now, one thing I wanna make sure that I mention before I actually get started with my test, there is no such actual rating as three plus plus by the NIJ. NIJ is the National Institute of Justice, and when they do their ratings, they give a level three rating, uh, or a level four rating or, and so on, okay? They don't have a three plus or a three plus plus rating. Basically what this plate is, is a level three rated by the NIJ that has been independently tested by Defender Armor and outside agencies uh, that have determined that this will stop more than a standard level three plate as tested by the National Institute of Justice again. So that's where you get level three plus plus, okay? That is something that's independently tested by them. We're gonna actually verify it today because we're only gonna be shooting at about, uh, maybe about 20 feet away, 25 feet away. Uh, and we're gonna be shooting some heavy hitting rounds 18 inch barrels, 20 inch barrel 308. So this is what we're gonna be testing out today. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the setup. Today I'm gonna to be using a ballistics gel torso. This ballistics gel torso is extremely heavy and it'll show whether or not we have any pass-throughs. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a plate carrier that was donated by Rothko. This is one of their new plate carriers. I'm gonna put the plate in that and then we're gonna put that on our ballistics gel torso. So with the plate carrier and the ballistics gel torso, we're gonna to get a little bit more realistic or real world results. Uh, when it comes to testing instead of just having a plate maybe taped to a barrel or something like that. The orange bucket that you see here is just simply for stability. I have it filled with some rocks and it's going to keep our ballistics gel torso from falling over. Now here are the rifles that we're going to be using for the day, excluding the one on the bottom which is for a different test. The rifle on the top is chambered in 5.56, it has an 18 inch barrel. The one in the middle is our 308 and it has a 20 inch barrel and that's what we're going to be using today. Now we have several different types of 5.56 to choose from. We have our green tip right here, that's the one that everybody wanted to see stopped in the previous video. We also have some 77 grain open tip match and some regular 556. Our 308, again, we have several different types to choose from. Soft point, the X-Tac is going to be our 168 grain open tip match, and then our standard ball ammo. But we're going to start with the green tips because that's the one that everybody wanted to see stop. So we're going to take our green tip shot. It's going to be top left, and then we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the results. 
Okay, so there was our green tip shot. It was just a little bit off to the right of where I was actually aiming, and you can see the impact right there. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull the plate out, and this is the one that everybody wanted to see stopped in my previous Defender Armor Level 3 Plus plate. And uh, you can see here we have our entry, and it's a pretty clean entry. You know, there's no massive spalling, even like on some of the other uh, plates that I've seen out there ceramic-wise where you get big cracks and chunks of plate and stuff like that. It's a pretty clean entry hole right there but now you got the big question did it actually go through so let's go ahead and flip this plate over we'll take a look at it and no it did not go through it completely stopped green tip and really left kind of a just an absolute minimal bulge on the back okay so now we know it'll stop green tip but what about at only 25 feet or so stopping 147 grain ball 308 now not only am i going to shoot it with the 308 but i'm actually going to hit it on the corner of the plate when plates get tested by the nij they're usually tested six shots kind of towards the middle away from the edges the edges are the hardest part for a plate to take so i shot it nice and close to the edge that's where you're going to have the highest likelihood of the round actually going through and let's go ahead and pull this thing out and see exactly what happened now i wasn't sure what to expect to be honest with you i thought shooting it that close to the edge there's a potential for it to go through and i was very surprised that it did not go through it did do a lot more damage since you're shooting at the edge of the plate which is to be expected that's what's going to happen with just about any plate when you shoot it closer to the edge and uh, you can see our damage to the back of the plate right there. Everything's kind of pushed around. The material's moved. But we had zero penetration. Again, 20-inch barrel, 147-grain ball, 308, and near the edge of the plate, and still it didn't go through. I mean, it's just absolutely impressive. Okay, now we'll kind of add to that just a little bit. We're going to take our heaviest round of the 5.56 that I have. This is the 77 grain open tip match. This is a really hard hitting round. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot it on the same side of the plate that that 308 just hit. So you know that that side of the plate is already compromised. That 308 hit it really hard. Now we're going to shoot it on the same side of the plate and see if we get penetration with the 77 grain. Here's our shot uh, just a few inches above our 308. Uh, left a pretty good mark there. And sure enough, we have bulge, but nothing went through. I mean, and that's that's the main pur purpose of this test. You know, I want to see if there's any penetration. But even shooting on a side that was already devastated by that 308, still no penetration. Okay, so now let's try and weaken the plate a little bit more before I take my last 308 shot. We're going to shoot this standard 55 grain, 556 five, full metal jacket round. We're going to hit the plate again, and we'll see if we get any penetration this time. I don't think we are. I think you can shoot this stuff quite a bit with the standard 55 grain uh, full metal jacket round, and it's not really going to do much to our plate. I tried to put it close to the other round so that, you know, if it had a chance to go through, it might go through because it was close to the green tip round, but you can see again, it didn't go through, nothing happened. So now that we've struck the plate several times, we're going to move up to the PMC X-TAC, -X which is our 160 grain match Sierra Match King uh, bullet. Uh, it's moving pretty quick, and everybody knows this is a pretty hard-hitting round right here. It's kind of one of the standard rounds people go to when you want accuracy, and you know you want to hit your target pretty hard. So let's go ahead and take our shot. Now, to be honest with you, I was actually kind of nervous on this one due to the fact that the plate had already been struck so many times, and now at the very end is when I was shooting that big 308 at it, uh, especially the 168 grain. I put it right into the spot that was already the most devastated, right in the middle there to see if we could get a clean pass through. And still nothing, no pass through. Obviously, we have backplate deformation, again, to be expected. But you have a 308 right below that. You have a 77 grain open tip match 556 right above that that's moving really fast. And then dead center, I dropped a 168 grain 308. And it stopped all of it. I mean, this is extremely impressive armor. So it stopped the green tip. It stopped the standard 556. It stopped two different types of 308. Uh, you got the back face deformation, yes, but you have zero penetration. This is absolutely amazing armor, you know, and it's uh, definitely worth checking out. If you're somebody who is in law enforcement, you're somebody who uh, depends on armor maybe on a daily basis, or you just want a kit that you know is going to work to stop the threats that you need it to stop, this is definitely some stuff you might want to check out. Again, Defender Armor makes some of the highest quality armor on the market and i've been impressed with it every single time so if you guys were watching the previous video and you wanted something that'll stop green tip definitely check this out i'll put a link to their website in the description box i really appreciate everybody watching this far please like subscribe and have a great day